Today, we're gonna shed light on the silent threat that often goes unnoticed, financial illiteracy. Join us as we delve deeper into the layers of this critical issue and explore how we can empower ourselves and our communities with the necessary financial knowledge to secure a more stable future for our nation. In this video, we're gonna dive deep into the heart of this issue, unraveling the reasons behind financial illiteracy and understanding how it affects us all. Did you know that a staggering percentage of our population lacks the basic understanding of financial concepts crucial for making informed decisions? From understanding complicated investment options to handling personal budgets, the effects of this knowledge gap are generational, hindering progress and extended a vicious cycle of financial instability. Financial illiteracy has serious consequences. It not only obstructs personal growth, but also our nation's overall economic success. People who lack a solid understanding of financial basics are more likely to become victims of predatory lending practices accrue debt, and have long-term financial difficulties, which widens the socioeconomic gap. Because financial illiteracy may have many detrimental effects, it poses a serious threat to our nation. Increased inequality and poverty are examples of this, making wise financial decisions, including investing in their education or setting aside money for retirement, can be challenging for those who lack financial literacy. Financial strain and hardships, as well as bankruptcy, may result from this. Additionally, it may leave people more susceptible to frauds. This is due to the possibility that those without financial literacy are unaware of the dangers associated with particular financial products or investments. This could hinder economic expansion. To address the issue of financial literacy, several strategies may be implemented. Giving individuals of all ages financial education is a crucial first step. Topics including debt management, investing, saving, and budgeting should all be included in this instruction. Schools and companies should also offer financial education. Enhancing the comprehensibility and accessibility of financial services and products is a crucial next step. Simplifying financial terminology and lowering the cost of financial goods and services are two ways to achieve this. Ultimately, it's critical to shield individuals against deception and fraud. This may be achieved by educating the public about fraud and scams and providing them with the self-defense resources they require. Although financial illiteracy is a significant issue, it's one that may be resolved. We can contribute to the development of more successful and stable society by implementing measures to safeguard individuals from frauds and scams, provide accessibility to financial goods and services, and provide financial education. Let us examine a few more measures that might be taken to combat the issue of financial illiteracy. By creating and carrying out projects and programs that educate the public about finances, governments may contribute to the fight against financial illiteracy. These courses can be offered at companies, community groups, and schools. The issue of financial illiteracy is also being addressed by nonprofit groups. People of various ages and backgrounds can receive financial education from these groups. Additionally, they support legislation that advances financial literacy. The issue of financial illiteracy can also be helped by the commercial sector. Financial organizations have the ability to educate both their staff and clients about money matters. They can also create financial services and solutions that are easier to use and comprehend. Together, we can contribute to the development of a society that is more informed about money. According to author Robert Kiyosaki of the Rich Dad Poor Dad book series, the greatest threat facing our nation is financial illiteracy. He thinks in order to reach financial stability and success, individuals need to understand money and how to handle it. According to Kiyosaki, not understanding finances can result in a variety of issues. Poverty is included here. Poverty is more likely to be experienced by those who lack financial literacy. Individuals who lack financial management skills are more prone to incur debt. And those who worry about money are more likely to feel stressed out financially. Financial scams are more likely to target those who lack financial literacy. According to Kiyosaki, everyone should understand money management, and financial literacy instruction ought to be provided in both the workplace and in schools. Additionally, he thinks that people ought to be in charge of their own financial education and pursue as much financial knowledge as they can. Let us examine some Robert Kiyosaki's advice on raising your level of financial literacy. Read financial books and publications. Participate in workshops and seminars on financial education. Speak with financial consultants. Enroll in online and local community college financial education courses. And acquire experience managing your money by making a budget and keeping track of your expenditures. You may attain your financial objectives and safeguard yourself from the risks of financial ignorance by raising your level of financial literacy. Because he thought that Kings Point alumni had the greatest salaries in the world and that allies were compensated for attending school, Robert Kiyosaki moved the school out of New York. The official U.S. Merchant Marine Institution is located at Kings Point. 
It's a federal service institution that trains and certifies commissioned officers for both the U.S. Armed Forces and U.S. Merchant Marine. Employers in the marine sector and other fields requiring specialized knowledge and training have a high regard for the school's alumni. Kiyosaki thought it was a smart move to move Kings Point to a more reasonably priced site because of the generous earnings and perks that the institution provided to its alumni. He also believed that the school's location in New York City was too expensive and that the school could save money by moving to a less expensive location. Robert Kiyosaki has drawn a parallel between rugby and entrepreneurship, citing shared abilities and characteristics between the two. He stated, Rugby is a great preparation for entrepreneurship because it teaches you how to work hard, work together, and never give up. Let's examine a few particular instances of the abilities and traits that Kiyosaki claims are necessary for both rugby and entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs and rugby players alike must practice discipline if they want to succeed. While rugby players must practice hard and adhere to their coaches' directions, business owners must follow their plans and make wise financial judgments. Entrepreneurship and rugby both require collaboration. Just as rugby players must collaborate to win games, business owners must collaborate with their staff, vendors, and clients to create prosperous companies. They both must be leaders. Entrepreneurs must be able to overcome obstacles and failures, much as rugby players must be able to recover from setbacks and injuries. Rugby players and business owners both need to be fast thinkers and problem solvers. Both must possess the ability to think creatively and generate original concepts and tactics. According to Kiyosaki, possessing the abilities and characteristics required for rugby is crucial for achieving success in entrepreneurship. Because rugby players have already cultivated the self-control, collaboration, leadership, resilience, problem-solving abilities, creativity, and invention necessary for business success, he thinks that they are well-suited to become entrepreneurs. What keeps Robert Kiyosaki going? Well, he wants to assist people reach their financial objectives and keep learning and developing. He thinks that everyone has the capacity to become wealthy, and he wants to use his expertise to help others realize this potential. In a recent interview, Kiyosaki stated that he's always reading or writing a book and that he strives to become a better person. In addition to writing frequent blog entries and articles, he's now working on many new novels. Along with his love of giving financial education speeches, he is constantly searching for fresh approaches to connect with people and support them in reaching their financial objectives. He gives presentations and workshops on entrepreneurship and financial education all around the world. Kiyosaki has a really admirable work ethic. He is a real-life illustration of the value of ongoing education and development. He serves as an inspiration to investors and business owners worldwide. According to Robert Kiyosaki, those who are just starting out should concentrate on learning about money and investment. He thinks that reaching financial freedom requires having a solid understanding of finance. Kiyosaki concurs that individuals have to begin modestly and progressively accumulate money over time. He suggests that individuals put their money into things like businesses and real estate that will bring in passive income. Young people frequently dispute what they should be doing to become financially independent, and Kiyosaki is aware of this. He counsels them to begin investing as soon as feasible and to concentrate on expanding their knowledge and skill set. If you found this video entertaining and informative, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps us out. If you want more exciting content, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our latest uploads and drop a comment down below to share your thoughts.